Hello, my name is Sue Macris. As Vice President and Program Chair, I'm pleased and honored to welcome you all to the 61st Annual Meeting of the Society for Birth Defects Research and Prevention. Building bridges in birth defects research and prevention, from innovation to application, speaks to our ability of scientists to generate scientific and technological knowledge and translate this knowledge into meaningful clinical applications. that you're doing a much better job and you end up in a much better place. So I'm full professor now and director of neuroscience. So a main job that somebody could do in industry is to become a DART study director. And our model looked at alcohol consumption during pregnancy, approximating to around four to six drinks. We concluded that hemion, human placental and Ipsi are in mammalian cells perform well as a model of Zika virus infection of placental barrier. So in summary, we established a multi-stage HESC model to assess environmental chemicals for developmental neurotoxicity. Um, there weren't consistent and standardized case definitions of microcephaly being used. So you could say microcephaly was less than the third percentile. Dr. Hood received his bachelor's and master's degrees from Texas Tech University. That I got this award when I, when I did because I'll be 80 years old in July and uh, I don't know how many more years I'd have been available to do this. This is the overview of my presentation. My talk focuses on consequentialist epidemiology in birth defects. Some of you may be hearing this term for the first time. Uh, so any application that you can see that involves something like machine vision, uh, we'll use something like a neural network. They're very sophisticated, uh, but they lack a lot of interpretability. Yes, uh, and so that's yeah. we're using that to look at hepatitis C, uh, syphilis, and COVID-19. Paternal consent or the partner's consent uh, for, for pregnant women to participate in research. And so we wanted to very clearly affirm that fair access requires that a pregnant person's consent to research is sufficient. Patient for vaccination. So if an uh, individual would uh, normally be eligible um, and uh, want and require a vaccination, pregnancy would not be a deterrent. It and was observed that ventricular valve defects were 20 to 50 percent more likely in offspring of mothers living in areas with the highest well density. Um, and for today's presentation, I'm going to focus really on the second part on our um, measurement study to better understand exposures uh, in populations living near oil and gas. For how many days were the air filters exposed in the image displayed in your presentation? Because it's community science, um, it's variable. Uh, Their research group has some very provocative findings that cannabis can have profound effects on the developing and fetal adolescent brain, including effects that can even extend to future generations of drug users. The, you know, there are centers that are exploring universal drug screening with biologic sampling. The Society for Birth Defects Research and Prevention has its own gap and it was crafted by charter member Dr. Grabowski during his tenure as the Society's president from 1987 to 1988. Oh, and thank you for your service as a president over the past year. You've really been an inspiration and, and a wonderful mentor to me, actually through the past two years. I really look forward to guiding the organization and maintaining the quality of the science and supporting the membership in, in every possible way.